Many software programs embed shortcuts, yet most people don't use them because they don't meet their needs or are difficult to remember. But with Evernote, you can customize some shortcuts so they will do exactly what you want them to do. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. We'll get to that after I remind you about my course, Evernote for Beginners. It includes a lot of tips and tricks. Plus, we'll cover searching in Evernote, tracking tasks in Evernote, managing projects and clients, storing contact information, and a whole lot more. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses to find more about the course. So let me show you how this works. Go to Help and then press Keyboard Shortcuts from the top menu bar. See it up there? Or if you want, you can use Command plus Slash on a Mac or Control plus Slash on a window keyboard and you'll get the same thing. So now the Keyboard Shortcuts panel slides open from the right side of the app. If you want to customize any of these uh, uh, shortcuts, all you have to do is double click on the shortcut and type a new key combination. So let's say, for example, uh, I want to change the paste to Evernote. I can come over here and then press a different key combo. And then once I hit enter, it will save automatically. Or if you want, you can come over to the shortcut that you want to change. Let's say we want to change this one. You can click the three dots and here you go you can get to that same edit screen. But as I said, all you gotta do is really click on the shortcut and, uh, and you will accomplish the same thing. If for some reason you wanna disable it, you click disable. Very simple to do. If you want to go back uh, to the defaults, click the more actions button, which, is the, which are the three dots here, and then click on restore defaults. And had I in fact changed them, then it would have restored them back to the, uh, the original setting. Uh, remember that the key combination must include one modifier key, like Shift, Command, Control, or Tab, or Option, followed by one non-modifier key, like an alphabet uh, letter, a number, or a function key. If for some reason you do this and they don't work, it may be because you've entered a key combination that's already in use. In that case, you're going to get an error message that indicates you've chosen a key combination that's used by another shortcut, and all you have to do is, is go back to restore, and then you can kind of start all over again. There are some built-in shortcuts that you can't change. The editor-related shortcuts, such uh, as those uh, like copy and paste, those are fixed. But if you look here, and this is what I always find interesting, some people don't even know these shortcuts exist. Take a look at all of the different shortcuts that you have available to you. And lately I have been kind of on a, on a campaign to learn shortcuts and the various programs that I use. And once I saw this, I realized I have a lot of uh, memorization to do because there are a ton of them. If you modify and use shortcuts in Evernote, I can promise you they'll save you a lot of time. I know they do for me. I'm Dave Edwards.